All right, hello guys, how's it going? We're sitting in our chairs, so that way we can have a little bit of a talk here at the beginning of this episode. So, there's obviously been some things that we've, like, discovered, found out, that we haven't really looked at yet, right? So, if Life Up 4, which was close to the Aurora when we figured it out, and so lots of radiation, we couldn't really go over there. I think there's still radiation active. So, we still might hold off on this, because I really don't want to put the radiation suit back on. We have found six. We found it before we were told about it, um, which was a bit unfortunate. Um, we did also hear about Life Pod 7, which we have no beacon for. Um, this is kind of like the picture of where it was, they're 200 meters down, so we can do that now with our Seamoth. The other couple of things. We have Life Pod 12, which is 250 meters down. With our upgraded Seamoth, we are able to go after that, as well as Life Pod 13. So these were a couple of the different things that I thought would be a good idea to go and explore. You know, take some time, look after some stuff. Um, we need new marble melon seeds. That, ha that has decent water. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so I think we're going to go, we're going to try and find some of those. We're also going to go back over to the, uh, what were they called? Like the Jelly Shroom Caves. The Light Up Glowy Mushroom Caves. So we're also going to go over there and we're going to try to find some of the extra, um, we're going to need some more lithium. Welcome aboard Captain. All systems online. We're going to need more lithium. That's just kind of like, it is what it is. Oh, that jumps. Yeah, we're going to need more lithium to get our better fins. Um, we're also going to need lithium for plasteel ingots, which will let us get deeper dive modules for our sea moth. So, I mean, we already have level one, but leveling two or level up to number two would be very, very helpful. So we are, we are gonna, I think we're gonna try and do both of those here today. Getting some lithium. Um, I don't know of anything else that needs, I mean, like, I don't know of anything else that really needs a lot of other stuff, like diamonds and stuff or gold. We have tons of gold. I mostly just don't have anything that needs diamonds. Um, I mean, at least nothing that we need. Dude. You were not even that big. How did you cause that much damage to this? That one's 1790. That one, yeah, this one's a lot closer. It's incredibly annoying that fish can hurt. Oh, whoa. This is a new biome. It, it looks like really, really old and like really big, funky corals. I can only imagine what new horrible, dangerous things await here. Boy, oh boy, isn't this going to be a ton of fun? Yeah, this just even looks dangerous, I'll be honest. Oh, but we get a Cyclops hull, which is our first and only piece, but why are you sparking behind you? Are you like a special fish? I will take you. Oh, lithium. Lithium's just on the floor here. Integrating new PDA data. I heard weird clicking noises, and we immediately go back to the boat. Not to the boat, to the sea moth, but... Huh. I'm very scared as to what is here. Uh, these are like... These are... These are bad ones. Yeah, we don't really want those things. 
Um, I guess we can take our steam off and kind of explore a little bit more. I'll bet that there are some, there are some like good shipwrecks and stuff here. It's like, it's really dense in here too. Like you're gonna have to be really careful, otherwise you're gonna really end up damaging the Seamoth. It's not all that deep though, which is like, that's the surprising part. Since it still has the limestone outcroppings, like it's still decently shallow. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. So yeah, they're definitely so mostly fish here. And then there are definitely some wrecks and stuff. I'm just Okay, obviously the light up glowy boys hurt a bit. Um, we'll go back up close to the top and come back towards this life pod here, life pod twelve. I, since we found some cyclops stuff there, that this might be like a really good area to explore next episode, and maybe we can get some new cyclops stuff. I'm so ready for a Cyclops, I mean honestly. Um, I would not mind going up and just repairing this real quick. Because I don't trust being- oh, that's a big rock over there. I don't trust being down too far because I know that's where scary things are. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and repair this while we can. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be more careful than we need to be. I feel like we're making decent progress. We started out really, really slow. I think we're still going really, really slow. But... I don't really know what... There, there is no but, but... I mean, you know, it could always be worse. <laughs> it, it could always be worse. Uh, I mean, we're, we're taking it at our own pace is really, that's the main thing. We are taking it at our nice own slow pace, feeling it out as we go. This might be a little bit too much radiation this direction. We're going to have to see. The aurora's not fixed yet. Oh, oh, that's that's a bad boy. We do not like him. Oh, they are very. I I know of them. They are bo they are called bone sharks. And uh, I think those are like. If I'm not wrong, I think those are pretty much the biggest scariest things scariest things that we pretty much have to deal with that aren't aren't the big boys that makes no sense because i called him a big boy he's like of the small fries he's the biggest and scariest so he's the biggest scariest small boy and then you get to be big. Oh, we're over to here again. So this is like this. This must be a red. I I saw it coming, and then our sea moth. While it is agile, it is not that agile. I wonder what those. I wonder if you can harvest anything from those little glowy bits. That's what's here. I see. No, 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 don't come after us, don't come after us, don't come after us, don't come after us. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Literally everything evil is over here near this. 
So we have the gigantic electric eels that, like, I'm pretty sure would eat us for breakfast if it could. We have the bone sharks, which are big, scary, like, the biggest and scariest of the little boys. But we are very close to the aurora. Um, hopefully the radiation is gone. Please don't let there be anything down here that's going to kill us. This game would not send us into dangerous, scary territory now, would it? Oh, yeah, look at all the ant- you can see- oh my gosh, the ampules. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. I don't even know what's hitting us because it, oh, it's a bone shark. That's. This is like the most unsafe place just about ever. Oh, you. Oh. You like protecting here, okay. What if we move that to two? This is like probably the worst idea ever. No, get get that off of my screen. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, now we're going to go. We're going to swim up. Nope. You know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna hold up, we're gonna hold the space bar, and we're just gonna let it go up on its own? We're only at 50% health. Yeah, no, we're not ready for that. We're gonna need some other Seamoth upgrades before we are ready to deal with bone sharks and ampules and other such very, very scary things. Um, wow, that, that's something real special. Um, I think one thing that I'm also going to start doing for you guys is just bringing up the, bringing, like, up the databank entries and just showing them once we get them, so that way you guys will be able to see them, you can pause the video, you can read them if you so choose, because I know that some people will be a little bit more interested in the story. If it's your first time watching about Subnautica, I feel like most people will have seen it before, since it is such an old game. Well, I mean, it's not old, but... It, I don't know, it, it is old, but it's not, like, old, old. It's still newer, I guess. It, it's kind of in a weird phase. Um, we do still have decent amounts of energy left, so... I would at least be into it. Hold on, let's... If we repair this... We went to life pod 12, we went to that. We go here, where is this? That's not too far away. Might be not... Well, we're gonna bring this up to the surf. Oh, we're like right under him. Okay, we're gonna bring this up to the surface. We're gonna repair this again. There better be some sort of like fuel slash aboard, way to maintain this and not repeatedly just have it get beat into a pulp. They said that they were close to an entrance. So if we could at least find out where the entrance is and go down a little bit. I would be quite happy about that. Because that would allow us a lot more flexibility.
thing of fish. Oh, right here. That is a pretty decent entrance, honestly. It, I probably should have paid attention to see if the bone shark... Not the, that's... Oh, wow. We, like... How did we miss this entrance, pretty much, is... Um, it doesn't look like he followed us in. That's like, it's, oh my gosh, I'm so smart for having missed this. That's a diamond. We want lithium. Oh, magnetite. We also like that. I'm just trying to make sure that none of the big eels come over here. There's a lithium. I wouldn't mind two to three pieces of it. I think we already have thermal plant as well. Yeah, we do. Okay. Nope, 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 not, not dealing with you, friend. He was coming for me. That looks like it would just be part of the modification station. There's more lithium. Here, we'll back up. We'll see how much. Dang it. We'll see how much we need real quick. Um, blueprints, because we were looking. What were we looking for here? Should be in the modification station is what we were looking at. Yeah, so that's a lithium right there. And then that's a plasteel. And that's a plasteel. So we would need like three lithium, which is what we have. So I think I think I'm good with that actually. Oh we're we're right under there. Okay, so we got we got the lithium that we needed. We also got some magnetite. So there's like it, that's a nice little double whammy. And that gives us a really easy way to get down into that biome as well. I think I think the one just directly to our home is a little bit closer. But that one's like, it's a nice, like, right down in. You don't really have to worry about, like, other places kind of a thing. If you get what I mean. Like, it, it's just, bam, it's, it's right there. I passed by our base. No, I didn't. Where is our actual base base? We have the home base, and then, yeah, there it is, okay. So many fish. Um, I wouldn't mind if this had, like, some more battery efficiency. Because I feel like we weren't gone all that long. But it's, like, annoyingly depowered. Here, let's see. Oh, it does have, okay. Full reinforcement would be good. Okay, so both of those would be good. I wish we'd gotten another lithium and more diamond um i don't think most of the other things really most of the other ones don't really speak to me all that much unfortunately did i ever eat that i did eat the marble melon but we want we want to put one marble melon in eat the other ones I don't remember when we ate a peeper last, or when we grabbed one of those. So, that's interesting. We just have to make sure that we keep, like, we don't eat the last one of them. We have to make sure that we keep re-getting them, I guess. Okay, two silicon rubber and a fin. There are fins. That only does 15% movement. That's like... 
feel like that's really bad about to be like compared to what we had what we're about to get. Okay. Then this we're gonna need enameled glass and a plasteel ingot. Oh, it just says that we do a lot more. Okay, that's I, I was hoping for a little bit more uh, direction there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll need a lithium with it. We'll re put a copper over. We need. I'm think. I'm too busy thinking Minecraft that nine is a. Nine is an ingot, not ten. Okay, there we go. Make a titanium ingot. Convert that to a plasteel ingot. Which has a really fancy looking model, honestly. Okay, so what else do we need for this? We need enameled glass and a, a depth module is going to be fine, because we can come grab that real quick. The hardest part is the enameled glass. Because we have to go find stalker teeth. And I know that they, well, I mean, like, obviously they spawn near stalkers. But the whole idea of, hey, this is where we need to go find these at is a little bit annoying. Um... Our best bet is just going to be, we're going to swap that to three and that to two. Our best bet is just going to go fast, search the ground, find some stalker teeth. The annoying thing is that they are also kind of hidden, if I remember correctly. Like, because the grass kind of covers them up. Um... I don't even know if there are any that spawn over here. I would love to find some, like, super duper fast, though. Ideally. Um... We just look for spots with, like, a lot of metal salvage, maybe? This has a lot of metal salvage, and we kind of almost got eaten. Um, I don't know what we're looking for. And like, obviously, they should look like teeth on the ground, but like... What do they look like? I know that we're going to anger a lot of these guys searching, but, like, I don't know. I don't know how else we would find them. If you guys know better methods on how to find stalker teeth, please let me know. Because I hate this method. It looks like they should be down, like, in here. But unfortunately, they aren't. Oh, there's, like, one of them right there. We're also probably kind of going in circles.
Hmm. What if we were to do something stupid? And scan a stalker. There was one right down here. Okay. This one is bugged because he's trailing sparks everywhere. But what if we were to feed him? Feed a stalker. Adopt one as a little bit of a pet. Okay, okay, so you like that. I would love it if you would stop swimming so much. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to bump into you. See, so if you feed them fish, they are kind of friendly with you for a little bit. Come on, where... Give us, give us what we want. Stalker's teeth. It just says, like, near metal salvage, I guess? No, we don't care about you. So maybe this one who's like picking up a lot of the metal salvage and everything. Oh, there's there it is. We love you, friend. You are the bestest of boys. I don't like that there are like 75 of them all around us. We we don't like that. If we could get a depth two module today, that would be amazing. We can also swap this battery out once we get back to the base. I don't like that it sounds that they are right behind me. We're almost in. Oh, there's another one. I don't like how close you drift to our base. I do not like it at all. But we made it. Everything is all good in the world. Okay. We want the plastic ingot. I don't remember if we needed diamond. At this point, I'm just kind of taking a little bit of everything. We want to make glass. Enameled glass. Okay, so good. And then we can come over here. Oh, the depth module mark two is so fantastic. We need another plastic ingot and then three rubies. Still don't know where we would get rubies from is the next big problem. I might have to look into that a little bit between episodes and see where I'm able to find any rubies. Because it I think there there are a couple things that we need now that with rubies. I can go 500 meters down. Um other important things. Computer chip polyanilin. I don't know how to make polyanilin. We also need more diamonds. I might try and go grab some of those in between episodes because that would be big to not have it die so quickly all the time. Um, we'll also look at polyanilin real quick. Oh, golden hydrochloric acid. Uh, but we don't have deep rooms. That's a bit unfortunate. 
Um, I feel like today's been decently successful, though. I mean, we got we got quite a bit done. Let us let us go. Let us take. Yeah, we got we got plenty done. I mean, we got new fins, which are great. We got a new capacity air tank, which is great. We upgraded our Seamoth. And that's a lot. I don't even know what Kyanite is. Um, oh, two computer chips and a Magnetite. That's also not that bad. We could probably make that right now, actually. Um, we can, we can save that for next step, so that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it here, though. Hopefully you guys had a, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to like and comment if you did, and give me, oh, that's a lot of fish outside. It kind of scared me, because I thought it was an ampule, and I know that that's not right, but it kind of scared me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Like and comment if you have any tips or tricks and you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying and everything, and uh, hit the bell so that way you can know when the next episode of Sonata Subnautica and or uh, whatever Minecraft series we're doing at the moment comes out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!